Welcome back to another video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more such interesting videos. Today, we're going to talk about Bernard Arnault, a French business tycoon and art collector and co-founder of the most luxurious names in the world. To allow Arnault to continue, the business recently increased the age requirement for the position of chief executive officer. The luxury conglomerate has been managed for decades by 73-year-old Arnault. His projected net worth, as of March 2022, was around $155 billion. Louis Vuitton, Christian Dior, Mott & Chandon, and Tag Heuer are among the fashion houses that make up LVMH. The third richest man in the world and CEO of LVMH, Bernard Arnault, is rumored to be choosing which of his five children will run the business. Turns out all of his children work at LVMH Brands. Doesn't it sound like the beginning of an inheritance drama plot? So, whoever gets chosen gets to be the inheritor of the world's most notable brands. Back to our topic, perhaps no one is more successful than Bernard Arnault in the world of luxury goods. The 72-year-old CEO of the French luxury conglomerate LVMH, Mott Hennessy Louis Vuitton, Arnault, has amassed a luxury goods empire over the course of almost four decades including some of the most well-known brands in apparel, jewelry, and booze, including Louis Vuitton, Tag Heuer, and Dom Perignon. Here is how Arnault got his start and rose to prominence as one of the world's richest individuals. As the chairman and CEO of LVMH Mott Hennessy, Arnault owns 97.5% of Christian Dior, which has over 41.2% of the entire LVMH. The revenue from the company last year was over $55 billion. The company itself is valued at over $40 billion, with a growth of over 15%. Soon after his debut as an investor, he backed the French designer Christian Lacroix and purchased the fashion business Celine. Arnaud said in the late 1980s that he intended to lead the biggest luxury conglomerate in the world during the coming years. He then turned his attention to LVMH Mott Hennessy Louis Vuitton, investing $2.6 billion to purchase shares and rising to the position of the company's largest stakeholder by 1989. He then became the brand's chairman and CEO. Like many other millionaires, Arnaud enjoys an opulent lifestyle. Delphine, Arnaud's oldest child, appears to be the LVMH empire's heir. Before Trump was inaugurated as president in 2017, Arnaud met with Trump at Trump Tower in New York City to propose LVMH factories expanding in the U.S. Arnaud was previously referred to to be a total visionary by former Goldman Sachs CEO Lloyd Blankenfein, who also noted that Arnaud saw the development of wealth in the world. However, Arnaud and Francois Pinault, the 37 billion luxury conglomerate Caring's founder, have a long public rivalry. Gucci and Yves Saint Laurent are two of the brands owned by Caring. In 1999, LVMH attempted to buy a controlling position in Gucci, but Pinault finally seized control of the company. So, how does this billionaire spend his money? House collection. It makes sense that he owns more residences than he can live in given his wealth. Nevertheless, his portfolio is a lot smaller than we anticipated. Toulouse, France Located in the northwest Saint-Emilion in Bordeaux, France, Bernard Arnault's home is a magnificent 150-year-old castle, surrounded by vineyards. Since 1998, it has been owned by the Arnault family. European Alps Despite being a luxurious hotel, Bernard Arnault built Cheval Blanc for his own use when traveling for both business and pleasure. It includes 34 luxurious rooms, a huge heated pool, as well as a penthouse and a chalet. It is surrounded by 41 hectares of lush vineyards. Saint-Tropez, France The billionaire has a lavish vacation home on the island of Tropez, which he visits on occasions. Beverly Hills, California, USA the millionaire has five distinct properties in Beverly Hills. They have a combined value of over $125 million. In the Trousdale Estates area, two of them are positioned immediately next to one another, while the other two are in the Bird Streets neighborhood. He apparently intends to demolish one of the residences at each location and build one enormous mansion that would enclose the whole land. Now, I will let you guys imagine the cost of buying such lavish properties in such timeless locations. Superyacht Symphony 
Bernard Arnault's second yacht and the largest fed ship yacht at the time of her making in 2015 is an eco-friendly yacht. The yacht's interior was designed by Zaretti Interior Design, while Tim Haywood Design developed the exquisite exteriors. It is moored on the Isles Camas and has a value of 130 million euros. Private Jet Being as rich as Bernard Arnault is, time is money, and a jet is one of the essentials in a day-to-day -day transportation. So, it is no surprise that Arnault is the owner of a Bombardier Global Express private aircraft, which is worth an estimated $52 million. He then traveled in his Dassault Falcon 7X aircraft, which was registered OYFWO. The face value for it is $40 million. Private Island Why not purchase a private island while you're at it if you're a billionaire? Arnaud allegedly paid $35 million for the 133-acre Bahamas Island of Indigo. Art Collection His renowned art collection has taken a little hit to Bernard Arnault's wealth. He has pieces by Yves Klein, Henry Moore, Picasso, and Andy Warhol. In connection with this, he introduced the LVMH Fine Art Students International Competition in 2013. Each year, the winner also gets a grant worth more than $340,000 and a year of mentoring to help them start their own label. Prior to that, Bernard was also the owner of Philips Depery and Company, an art auction firm. According to Bloomberg, he keeps his collection in his Paris residence. Investments in 1998, he invested personally in the purchase of Chateau Cheval Blanc alongside businessman Albert Freire. Though his holding company, Europa T. Web, Arnaud made investments in a number of web-based businesses between 1998 and 2001, including Boo.com, Liberty Surf, and Zibank. In 1999, Group Arnaud also made an investment on Netflix. It's not only the streaming company, but he has also invested in Spotify, Slack, Airbnb, Uber, and many other brands. In 2007, Blue Capital reported that Arnaud jointly owned 10.69% of Carrefour, the second biggest food distributor in the world and the largest grocery chain in France, with the California real estate company Coloni Capital. He started in the yacht industry in 2008 and paid 253 million euros for Princess Yachts. After that, he bought Royal Van Lent for roughly the same price. Cars Arnaud is not very interested in luxury cars, but does drive a BMW 760Li, which had an estimated cost of 25,000 euro when it was first listed in 2015. It is a luxury sedan with an M Performance twin powered turbo 12 cylinder petrol engine. The interior is just as luxurious as an executive lounge. Children's Wedding Arnaud spent a huge amount for the wedding of his first threeborns, who had lavish weddings filled with celebrities and all the luxurious you can possibly imagine a wedding to have. His eldest, Delphine Arnaud, married the heir of a dynasty of Italian winemakers in 2005, with a budget of over $7 million at the time. Her wedding gown by John Galliano stole everyone's heart and the cover of every newspaper back in the day. Donations Given his wealth, it's surprising that Bernard Arnault's list of donations isn't much longer. The only noteworthy gift we could find was his family's $234 million donation to aid in the Notre Dame Cathedral's fire damage restoration. He also contributed $11 million to the effort to put out Amazonian forest fires. However, his minor contributions might not be as well publicized as these bigger ones. Maybe he's a secret donor. Who knows? And that's all for today's video about Bernard Arnault. Let us know your favorite brand from Arnault's empire in the comment section below. And stay tuned for our next video on our channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more such interesting videos. Thanks for watching.